welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas. Today is day 10 and I have an amazing collaboration planned with my friend Sid and she is the Instagram account Diaries of Two Beauty Guru Wannabes and I believe her Instagram is different from her YouTube. I think her YouTube is just Diaries of Beauty Guru Wannabes. I will link both of them down in my description box because you guys need to check her out. She is so sweet. I just love her. She's so well put together. I think she's in college so she's got to be at least 10 years younger than me. Um, would be my best guess. <laughs> uh, I'm just outing myself here as a 30 year old. Not for very long. I'm gonna be 31 this month. Holy jeez. Anyway, <laughs> I love Sid. What do I love about her? I love her colorful makeup looks. I love that she doesn't buy everything under the sun and is totally making her $50 a month budget work for her. Um, and she has such cute and creative YouTube video ideas like I don't know she's just such a gem and I think she deserves so many more followers so if you guys could go ahead and check out her Instagram and check out her YouTube and let her know that I sent you and check out her video and smash that like button oh my god I'm turning into <laughs> I'm turning into what am I turning into okay anyway so me and her both watched the fabulous Kelly Gooch and she recently, like last week, did a video and talked about just some standout products of 2019 and I watched the video and I was actually gonna do a video on it and Sid was gonna do a video on it and she actually did the question thing on Instagram and I totally commented and I was like, oh my gosh, that was such a good video idea, I wanna do that too. And she, being the smart cookie that she is, sent me an Instagram message and she's like, would you like to collab? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and so that is how this collaboration was born. So I also posted a question and asked you guys, what were your standout products of 2019? And I got quite a few responses. And we were just gonna do 10. Some of these products I have tried, some of these I haven't tried. You guys gave us a fantastic list and I saw Sid's list as well. So she's got a ton of stuff to talk about as well. And I'm gonna stop blabbering and get right into it. So the first thing I saw a lot of you guys commented on as some of the standout products of the year is actually Davina. And I'm assuming most of you meant they're like multi-chromes and they're Willy Wonker, like they had those like duo multi-chrome deliciousness and they had like a butterfly collection. They had a bunch of singles come out. And honestly, I picked up a lot of Davina's shadows when they were doing like the matte shadows. Not so much like all these fun like duo chromes and multi-chromes. So I had to like cool my jets this year and try not to pick up as many singles because I feel like I gravitate towards palettes more than I do my singles collection. So I did kind of take a pass on some of those stuff. And then my awesome friend Hot Mess Ness sent me the Willy Wonka collection or whatever that collection was called. I'll throw up a picture. These beautiful pastel multi-chrome shades or duo chrome shades and they are so stunning. Again, I wish I had like more time to play with them because they're awesome and the colors are so pretty and my friends Amy and Angelica talk about them on their channels all all the time so I'm so grateful to Vanessa for sending me that collection and the pigmentation is amazing the color payoff is amazing is that the same thing maybe <laughs> just amazing formula on that collection and then when I saw they were doing the sugar drops collection and I saw that it was launching on Black Friday and I saw that you could get 50% off I was like <laughs> give me um it did sell out super fast so I did pick them up on the pre-order and I don't think those are gonna ship till like January so I'm like super jealous for people that got it in on time so they're receiving their orders and I cannot wait to play with that collection I'm gonna be packing that shit on in my inner corners like I cannot wait I just feel like Davina has done so many cool things this year so I definitely agree with you guys that they are one of the standout brands or one of the standout products of 2019. So the next thing I saw so many of you say this and I think it really speaks to how far Manny has come in his YouTube journey. The Moonspell palette. I thought more people were talking about it, more people were purchasing it, so many of you were interested in the Moonspell palette and that is so cool. I got into Manny's brand 
At first I was like, no, fuck Manny, like Manny's an ass, like the whole, the whole drama getting thing, it just really kind of like was the final nail in the coffin that was me and Manny because I used to love him, like I have the Makeup Geek palette, I bought his collab with Jeffree Star, like I was on the Manny train and I did kind of notice him getting like bitchier and more bitter i don't know his personality was changing and it really felt like he was definitely like getting into that la crowd if you know what i mean and so i kind of took a hiatus from watching manny and then drama getting happened and his brand like when he first started with the life's a drag palette it didn't really speak to me and then the medusa collection the goddess collection he did i didn't really like either so i was kind of like just watching from afar you know what i mean and then i started watching brit clark or i'd always followed her but I started watching her lives and she would put on the Manny highlighter and I was like what the fuck is that highlighter? She'd be like oh this is Lunar Beauty it's Manny's brand and I'm like oh bitch I want a highlighter and so then <laughs> I go on like Manny's website and it's like $75 for free shipping and he was doing like buy one get one or something on his highlighters so now I'm like sitting there contemplating like should I buy all four of his highlighters? And I'm like, no, bitch, no. And so then Angelica comes to town and I go to Minnesota to visit her. And guess what? Lunar Beauty is at Morphe stores. And we were at the Morphe store and I got to buy just the one highlighter I wanted. And Angelica got to buy just the one highlighter she wanted. And we both walked away happy campers that day. So that was like my gateway into Lunar Beauty. And then he came out with the Strawberry Dreams palette and again, Brittany was on it. She bought it and she was raving about it. And so when it came to Sephora and Sephora was doing a sale, I was like, give me that palette and I got it and I loved it. It was so pigmented, beautiful. The fucking thing smells like strawberries. Oh my goodness. I loved that about the palette <laughs> and it was amazing. It was so amazing. And then he announced Moonspell and I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just perfect it was like a Halloween collection the packaging is beautiful I can see it it's like right there on my shelf amazing I love the neutrals I love the greens I love the purples for a lot of my YouTube friends it was like the perfect palette I saw so many people buy the Lunar Beauty Moonspell palette so I think we're all excited to see what he's gonna come out with next but I definitely agree the Moonspell palette was definitely a standout palette in 2019 so the next thing you guys mentioned, which is anybody surprised that so many of you commented on the Melt Holiday Collection and I could not agree more with you guys. That a more eternal collection I literally screamed when they announced it and you guys don't understand me and Angie and Amy have a group chat and literally like every second day we're like why did they sneak peek it so far in advance and we have to wait until Black Friday to buy the palettes and like Amy's like take my money take my money I'm gonna buy the whole collection and Angelica was like ready I was like oh my gosh okay I really want the eyeshadow palettes and maybe just like the highlighter it was so funny like we were all so excited and when they did that pre-launch we were like on it you guys like I set an alarm it launched at midnight Pacific Standard Time which is 2 a.m. where I live so I set up an alarm at like 1 56 and I'm like I get up like I'm like trying not to wake up my husband and like ordering this shit on my phone and like Angelica and Amy are like done and I'm like I didn't even get the secret code and I'm like panicking trying to like order on my phone not wake up my husband um and my order goes through and I'm like yes and like it's amazing those eyeshadow palettes are so bomb like <laughs> ah and like so many people that got just the one went back and bought the other one I think they're perfect as a set I think you can use them together you can use them separate they're wonderful palettes and the creativity the story like everything is so wonderful I think that's definitely one of my favorite launches of 2019 I don't know how Melt is gonna top that to be honest like what color scheme could they possibly possibly launch that's gonna look better than the Morte and the Vita palettes like oh my god mind blown love that collection so amazing okay so would this even be a Karen Harris video if I didn't talk about Papagrath Papagrath launch like 
She's been like, she's like over here just like dropping shit everywhere. <laughs> like she did like those little mini palettes. She did those like $26, $28 palettes at Sephora. Um, nobody really specifically said what was the standout product. So I'm gonna assume like to me, her most standout was Midnight Sun. I did get the rose, what is it? Rose Vintage, I don't remember what it was called. Um, but her rose palette and I'm not really in love with it if I had to pick like a rosy themed palette that I think was a standout would be vintage rose by give me glow um, but that's not what we're talking about right now we're talking about papagrath and honestly like I was such a like a I don't know something was wrong with me and I thought midnight sun was so lame and then I took it with me on vacation because I wanted to use it more and then I realized no 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 it is not lame it is a bomb palette and I'm so glad I have it because it's like neutral but it's still fun enough like where you can still tell like it's Pat McGrath like Auntie Pat didn't fuck around and oh my gosh I feel like this is very preemptive but her Star Wars collab may be the collab of 2020 uh, may be the collab of 2019 like I'm a little bit pissed off that it's coming out like so close to Christmas like I feel like she should have done the right thing and let me have it before Christmas time like as a Christmas gift to myself um and I'm also a little bit annoyed that it's coming out at Selfridges first because I refuse to pay 30 to $50 in shipping. Like, I just don't see the sense of that because a lot of people are like, oh, it's so cool that it's coming out in Europe first. And like, Pat McGrath is European. Like, I get that. But she also has a, like a website that services the world. And like, she has stores in like New York. So it's like a little bit lazy, a little bit annoying that she keeps doing the Selfridges launches. Like, I wish she would just figure that out. You know what I mean? Other than that, I feel like Midnight Sun for me was a knockout and the Star Wars collection. Like those two mini palettes, like I need those two mini palettes. <laughs> I need those two mini palettes. I'm gonna probably skip the lippies just because I don't really need them, but me and my husband are both excited because it's like the perfect marrying of our two worlds because I love makeup and Pat McGrath and he loves Star Wars. Um, so yeah, it's like the perfect combination for the two of us. So I am like so excited for that. Okay, so a bunch of you, of course, gave shout outs to the ColourPop Monochromatic series. Um, some of you mentioned the blue palette. Some of you mentioned the green palette. Some of you had mentioned, I think, the yellow palette to Sid in her list, but I'm gonna just talk about it as an overall thing. I pretty much picked up all of the monochromatic ones. Um, the pink, the purple, the green, yeah, I have all of them. Actually, I'm running through it in my head. I feel like it started off really strong, and like towards the end, like when we got to orange and yellow, I was like a little bit more disappointed, like especially because they started putting like pressed glitters in their palettes, so that was like a little bit irritating to me, but I do like the idea of it, and I think a lot of you guys, it was so funny, a lot of you commented in my community tab when I posted all the vaults that ColourPop was doing for Black Friday. So many of you were so excited to pick up the monochromatic vault because you hadn't bought any of them. So that was really cool and I think it's so fun because it's so much variety at such a great price point. Um, but I definitely feel like not all those palettes are created equally. To me, I think my favorite is It's My Pleasure. The pigmentation is on point. The shades are fantastic and it is very tan girl friendly. That's my favorite one. I would definitely recommend that to any of you guys wondering which color to pick from the monochromatic series. But I think it was a knockout. I don't really know a lot of other brands that do the monochromatic theme as well as ColourPop did. I know Huda has like her, you know like gemstone collection but that was quite a little while ago so I I totally understand why you guys think that those products were standouts because I mean they are they're iconic okay so another standout palette this one I totally agree with I feel like I've sold this palette to quite a few of you definitely let me know if I did or not but I, I feel like I did and that is the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette oh my god like if I genuinely like I have palettes that 
are expensive so like I would want to save them if my house was on fire but like for example say I didn't know anything about makeup and I had to like have just one palette I would hope that in my non makeup loving brain I would go for the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette because those mattes oh my god they're so creamy I cannot like I cannot lie when I like it's I'm telling you it's like butter like Imagine blending butter <laughs> on your eyelids. That's how amazing that palette is. I love it so much and I feel like a lot of you do as well and a lot of you really want the palette. Um, I know Sid wanted the palette. She was like hoping that it would go on sale and for her sake I really hope it does because that girl is really good at sticking to her budget but Oh my god, I love the Metropolis palette so so much and I definitely agree that it is a standout product of 2019. Chef's kiss for the Metropolis palette. Okay, so I would not be a good YouTuber if I didn't mention the Cleonade stained glass collection because so many of you commented the Cleonade stained glass collection and I think that is so fantastic to, I guess, make us realize like what a good collection can do for a brand. Because yeah, Cleonade's like well known by like the indie community, like people that love indie brands, people that watch Angelica because she's done a lot of stuff with them. Um, she talks about them a lot and that's really how I got interested in Cleonade because I remember when they first came out with their first palette, Trend Mood posted about it and I was gonna buy it. I, I like remember this so vividly in my mind because I was at my job and I was like looking at it and I'm like oh my gosh this is like a really expensive palette and then their Canadian shipping is kind of expensive so it would have been like $75 for me to get the palette and I just was so unsure I didn't get it after being introduced to Angelica's channel and seeing how much she liked the brand it really like built up the brand in my heart you know and their customer service is amazing I bought so many collections from them um, but when they announced the stained glass collection I think I about like passed out I was so excited and then they're like so expensive <laughs> but it's worth every penny so I bought the rainbow like bundle the, that's the first thing I bought and it was like a hundred and something dollars because their jewel stained glass shadows are the most expensive and then they recently had a restock was in November they did their restock November 4th I think and like my shadows are like almost here I got my tracking and I think it's gonna get here like I think the day you guys are seeing this video or maybe the next day so you best believe I'm gonna be swatching that shit all over my body but I love Cleonade so much and it's so nice to see them grow and blossom and they're just so amazing I think two sisters run the company they're so so nice anytime you ask them a question on Instagram and stuff they're so kind and courteous and I don't know I just love seeing brands that interact with their followers and so like two thumbs up you know four thumbs up like such a great brand such a great collection stained glass by Cleonade is definitely a standout product of 2019 okay guys so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is of course the Shane Dawson X Jeffree Star collab palette now I did buy both of them actually I ended up picking them up at the Morphe store in Minneapolis because I happened to be in Minneapolis um, the Wednesday after the palette launch which I believe the palette launch on like November 1st which was like a Thursday or a Friday and I happened to be in store and they still had some palettes so I was able to grab it um, I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about it. There's some shades I think are really fun and iconic and then some shades are like such duds that I'm like no like don't spend your last penny on this palette. There's so many other better palettes out there but at the end of the day I do think I agree with Kelly like whether you love Jeffree Star or not or whether you love Shane Dawson or not you have to agree that this is definitely a standout because there was so much hype you guys like I've been to the Mall of America. It's freaking huge. And one of my friends, my best friend's cousin actually went to the Mall of America in the hopes of meeting Shane Dawson. And she said that people were lining up in the Mall of America at like 3 a.m. Not to meet Shane Dawson, just to get in line to buy the fucking palette. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, do you guys know how cold Minnesota is? <laughs> like. 
it's not North Dakota, but it's still fucking cold. Like it's not California, that's for sure. So I was just like shook when she was telling me how long they waited, like how delirious she was <laughs> as she waited in line. And like, it was just crazy. I was like, what? And like, I don't even think she got to see them. Like, cause she went back the next day. She told me she had like maybe like six hours of sleep that whole weekend. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like what? Like, and she doesn't have a YouTube channel or anything. She does love makeup, but I, I was just like shook. Like I, I couldn't imagine staying in line for anything at 3 a.m. <laughs> like you'd have to be giving away like a McMansion <laughs> for me to be in line. I know it's like a thing because like Black Friday and stuff, people like to line up like, it's an American thing. I don't know that people do that as much as they used to. Like when I first moved here, I still remember one time I was like Black Friday shopping and the Victoria's Secret store in Fargo opened up and I literally heard screams as people were running into the store and I'm like, all of this for like half off a bra, like everybody calm down. You need to calm down. <laughs> like, So anyway, just like seeing those clips, like Unreal, like I can't believe people waited in line for all of that, but it was iconic. So definitely one of the standout launches of 2019 in my opinion. Okay, so the next standout I have to say is just like this brand overall. Kaleidos like exploded onto the scene in 2019 for me. So I still remember again very vividly the day I saw like all of my YouTube friends unboxing these like gorgeous five pan delicious like palettes and I'm like what is that where can I get it how much is it give it to me and so I just like lost my shit the day the original um Kaleidos the Futurism collection launched and actually it's kind of a crappy memory but they launched the same day all those terror attacks happened in Sri Lanka I don't know if you guys know about this or you know and it was like April 20th I think the Futurism collection launched and I had like made my purchase and woke up the next morning and there were these like terror attacks that were being reported so it's just crazy because I really remember that day but Kaleidos has just been knocking it out of the park for me this year and I ended up thank you whatever makeup gods are looking upon me I ended up on their PR list so I feel so happy that I can receive these products and talk to you guys about them I'm actually wearing this palette right now this look has been filmed it's a collab video that's coming up in the future so definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to see how I put this look together but they've just been knocking it out of the park I love the eyeshadow palettes so beautiful I love their highlighters that they came out with those are so fun and even the their new lippies I just did a swatch party video they're right there with my friends Angelica and Amy I'll try and remember to link that for you guys but we just did lip swatches so you guys could see the shades on different skin tones so I just know that they're the like the best is yet to come with them I'm so excited to see what they whip out in 2020 I have I just want like all of the eyeshadow palettes like please just make more eyeshadow palettes in their beautiful glitter formula so foiled, so stunning. I love Kaleido so, so much. And ah, I can't wait to see what else they come out with next year. So the last one, I'm gonna be biased and I'm gonna pimp my friend's palette. But the Alma palette, oh my gosh, you guys, so wonderful. And I'm not, honestly, I'm not just saying that for Amy's sake, but um, Amy Hearts Beauty, which is the brand that Amy loves makeup collab with to make her Alma palette. I did do a look with that palette. I'll try and remember to link it. Otherwise, you guys will be able to find it on my channel pretty easily. Amy is the reason I ended up on um, Amy Hearts Beauty PR list. And it was such an interesting experience because they're a very small brand. And honestly, I feel like they deserve a shout out in my standout products of the year list because this is like a one woman show from what I can tell and she like killed it with this palette. So I got her two of her other palettes in PR this year and the progress this brand has made from the first palette I got from them to the Alma palette is so immense and it's just... I just can't even quantify it. Like, I'm so proud of the brand. Whether they collab with Amy or not, their formula has come so far. The 
shimmers are so shimmery and buttery and gorgeous. You don't have to take that from me. Just watch any video on the Alma palette. It's stunning. It's such a great formula, such a good color story. Like, yeah, there's palettes out there that have like purples and blues in them, but the extent to which Amy, the length she went to, to put together those colors, I am just so in awe of that collaboration. I think it deserves, I think it deserves an award for like collaboration of the year. I know somebody else won it at the American Influencer Awards, but if I was giving away an award, I would give it to Amy because both her name's not Amy, Dom, the owner of Amy Hearts Beauty and Amy Loves Makeup did such a beautiful thing for our community. And honestly, if you guys can support and buy it, I would honestly recommend it. If you can't, that's okay. I know Amy understands and she doesn't want you to spend money that you don't have and neither do I, but oh, that palette is like a piece of history and I'm just so happy for everyone involved and it's just so wonderful and it's just such a standout because I know that you can just tell the love that went into that palette and it's just, and it's just such a wonderful thing. I can't explain it, but I just support that collaboration so wholeheartedly and such a standout. So that is my 10 standout products. And I thought I'd be sneaky since I talk so much about eyeshadows. I thought I'd be sneaky and plop in to like a little honorable mention to my little Nabla babies because I'm like obsessed with them now. And <laughs> this is like my favorite face product of 2019 are the Nabla Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powders. Um, Nabla, if you see this, can you make more shades, please? Uh, this blush, I'm gonna call it a blush because that's what it is on me, is beautiful. Ah, I'm gonna wear this for the rest of 2020, so if you're expecting to see something different on my face, it's because Nabla came out with more shades of this because I just, this, this on my skin tone is amazing. So this is my honorable mention for 2019 standout products. Nabla is killing it in the face department. I really, really want to try their new palette. I also really want to try their new face palette, which I can't find in America yet. So I need Nabla to get on that. <laughs> so guys, that is everything. Those are my 10 standout products for 2019 with one honorable mention. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like my energy was pretty high up today. Not sure what's going on. I'm actually really hungry and it's like eight o'clock at night. That's so great. I still need to edit this video and have it ready for tomorrow. So go me. Um, thank you Sid so much for asking me to collab with you. You guys, please go check out our channel. You're gonna love her. She is such a sweetheart. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support and have a wonderful holiday season. Bye guys!